Okay, everybody. Okay, everybody. I'm back on the uh, trusses and on my pole building, and I've got all but two trusses to go. Look in the background here. See? Got the wood, doing the purlins, and uh, got two left right here. I got one right there and one right there to go. So, as you can see, I'm setting the uh, boards in between, they call them purlins, but they go in between the trusses, uh, the metal trusses that sit down on a little channel. And I climb a ladder and I, I, I put a ladder in the middle and then I climb up it with the board and I'll, I'll straddle backwards and, and hook them in each one of the pockets. And then I'll climb another ladder, get up in there and, and, and um, kind of hang in there on the, on the trusses and go up each side and screw them in. And on these, these uh, trusses are two inches wide, so I'm splitting the difference in the pocket with an inch. So, and that's in the center, not the actual big pocket. The pocket's like four inches, four and a half inches, something like that. But I'm not, I'm not trying to do that because a guy welded them in. They might not be perfect every time, but if you go in the center of the, of the two inch uh, truss, then you know you're in the vicinity where you need to be. So, but check it out. This is what I got going on. Remember, I'm a one man band, so check it out. Okay, I'm up on top, and you can see my bird's eye view. And you can see what I've done on the end down here. I'm going to leave the ends until the very end, so I because them boards have to be cut a certain length to get tight up against the truss. So, but here, as you can see, I've got this board already screwed in on both sides. This one I gotta make sure it's tight and then put the screw in. And then I climb down that ladder back there, the yellow the yellow sticker one. And then I'll climb up the other side and I'll put the screw in that. And then I'll repeat the process. It's not that big a deal, but it can be. But as you can see, I'm pretty, I'm pretty up here. And I'm just, all I'm doing is straddling these uh, trusses. And that's how one man puts the purlins in by himself. He climbs this ladder in the middle, all the way up and down. I'll work backwards, I'll reach back, I'll reach back, and I'll put the boards in these pockets, in that pocket down there. And then I'll get down off the ladder and climb up another ladder and then climb up the trusses to get to each purlin. And I repeat the process until my mind is baked. Okay, we got a couple more purlins to do. I got two more right there at the top, as you can see. And uh, as you can see what I'm doing, I'm, I'm climbing this ladder right here with the board and then I'll put it across on each side then I'll get on that other ladder right there and that's when I get up on the truss but you can see it's coming along and they sit each one of these sit on top of those six by six as you can see somewhat center their self once you run 12 12 feet on the boards it'll pretty much center itself and then you come back and you drill your holes and you put your bolts through the through the truss through the six by six. I had these plates made and I'll walk over here and show you. So check these plates out. Alright. As you can see I got a nice little workstation set up on the tailgate of the truck. Look at these plates. Had these plates made, so instead of the bolt being pulled through the wood, it'll be pulled through here. Check it out. All right, and then the, the carriage side of it, as you can see the square holes that were, that were milled. And I've got a friend of mine that does milling, CNC milling, and he did that, he put it in his machine. As you can see at the top, 
I don't know if you can see or not, but let's go over here to one that's already installed. Look right there. Let me see if I can zoom in on this bad boy at the top. All right. See the two carriage bolts in the wood? See how they're pulling through? Well, these plates will stop most of that. It'll clamp. It'll have more clamping around the board and really be able to pull the truss nice and tight on the other side. So, that's a, that's a must-do situation as far as that's concerned, but you can see what I'm working with. As you can see, purlins are up. Got two more trusses to go. But all the purlins are up. So we're coming in on the, on the back stretch of it now. So that you can see. As you do your pockets, of course you want to split the boards one inch in between the two inch trusses and then on the end down here. On the ends, as you can see, there's six inches sticking out of the truss and it should meet up with the six by sixes and they do. And they get a board, they'll get a board that comes from the top and comes all the way down the very top so not got that far on the on the capping it in but or band and a lot of guys say band but and I got two more rows of bands I gotta do one right here and then one right there all the way around the whole building but as you can see it's getting there Today, I'm hoping to have the other two trusses and the other purlins in.